Hi, welcome to Farm Olsen YouTube channel. Today this video is going to talk about turn folding bike, but specifically the Turn Joe C21 26 inch wheel set. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so what I have is the Joe C21 folding bike. Now, what's so different about this particular bike is uh, Turn makes a lot of folding bikes from 20, 24 inch, and 26 inch. So, this is a 26 inch folding bike. Um, so, if you're planning to travel through airline or checking your uh, folding bike into a luggage, a 20 inch wheel set is what, way much more better. Um, so, this is not really for your uh, you know want to go travel in the airline but more or less let's just say you're the type of customer living in apartment uh, or you just want to take your bike to a park without having a bike rack and you just want to compress the bike and put it in the trunk so this is the type of bike that is for those kind of customer basically someone wants to take the bike out for the ride they don't have the bike rack and they just put it in a trunk a hatchback the other thing on this particular bike is actually has a 21 speed so that gives you a lot of uh, climbing capability. So I'm going to pull it over and uh, tell you a little bit more about this bike here. Okay, so what I like to do is go for the spec of this uh, Turn Joe C21. So right off the bat, uh, Joe on the Turn Joe line is basically generally is uh, wheel side that is bigger than uh, 24 inch. So generally is uh, 26 and uh, 27 and a half and so forth. So it's a C, so basically it's a little bit more entry level uh, model. Uh, 21 C21 basically is a 21 speed so let's get into the spec so um, from the top uh, it has a really really nice uh, ergon hand grip has a very nice padding so you can rest your hand uh, on your palm when you're riding a long distance and when you're not using your gear but the other really nice thing I really like is just having that sort of a horn so if you climbing hill and you just want to get more torque out, out of your bike you can put all your uh, force onto your handlebar and get a get grip on it. Uh, it's still really nice a uh, wide handlebar. On the shifter is a Trist Grip Micro Shifter uh, by Shimano. It basically has um, 21 speed. It's a three by seven. Um, going down, you have the uh, basic uh, V brake, and then uh, on the hinge, basically is a FBL hinge. So it's a slightly smaller than the, uh, the traditional OCL joint, but it still works really, really nice. Um, going down onto the uh, crown set, it's basically is um, three by seven. So three in the front and then um, seven at the back. And the derailleur is uh, Altus derailleur. Uh, and the cassette is uh, 1128 cassette, okay? And the tire is uh, Shaw Bay Road Cruiser tire. So it, it actually uh, has a really high protection on this particular tire. So overall, um, this bike is really targeted for um, city riding, cruising around in the city and so forth. All right, next, uh, it's the least, thing for, least favorite thing that I want to do. I do want to talk about the weaknesses of this particular bike because if we always only give you the good things, you don't know, you don't get the full picture. So I really want to talk about some of the weaknesses of this particular bike. Um, this bike, it seems to be the geometry feel a little bit smaller. So um, this actually comes with small, medium and large size. But one thing I noticed, the, the frame seems to be a little bit more compressed or shorter frame. So what that means is if you uh, generally take a medium size bike, you may want to take one size up. So for example, a medium size feel like a small. Uh, so a large size will feel, feel like a medium size. Right, so if it's small, then it feels like an extra small. The second weakness thing is um, the geometry design, almost like a mountain bike geometry. So they, they tend to be a little bit low. So what that means is when you're riding, you, you tend to be a little bit more couch forward. Uh, so if you, the type of person doesn't like to ride the mountain bike geometry and you don't want to couch forward, you may want to get a stem extender that just raise the handlebar a little bit more higher. And then the last weakness is when you fall, uh, it doesn't actually fold the handlebar, so the handlebar kind of stick out, which I'm going to show you in a minute. 
Um, so if you want to make it really, really more compact, you will have to use an Allen key to loosen the uh, stem and then just turn the handlebar at 180 degree or 90 degree to get it more flat into the, into the, into the car. Okay, so next one I'm going to show you is how to fold this bike. Unlike the traditional um, 20 inch folding bike, this is slightly different, but the, the step is very, very much the similar. So first you're going to drop the seat post and then next you're going to remove the kickstand. Now this one doesn't have a folding paddle, so you've got to make sure that you want to uh, put the pedal parallel to the frame. So there's only one hinge, unlike the traditional turn folding bike, it has two uh, main hinge. So you lift the safety latch, open up the main hinge, put your left hand and holding on to the ha uh, handle post, and just basically start collapsing. You will get caught with the brake, so just pull the handbrake. And now you can fold the bike pretty nicely, okay? but you still have this sort of a handlebar kind of going across. So if you want to make it a little bit more compact, uh, use the Allen key and just kind of remove the handle post and turn the handle bar at 90 degree. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to unfold it. Pretty easy to unfold it because there's only one place to hold it and release the handle uh, handbrake. Close the main uh, latch, put the safety pin down Put down the kickstand, raise your hand seat post to the position that you want to be, and that's it. That's, you, that's how you fold and unfold the bike. All right, that's it for our uh, Joe C21. Uh, so, to summarize, uh, this particular folding bike is a 26 inch folding bike, but what, what the great value is, it has 21 speed. Um, so it gives you a much more comfortable ride. It's not a bike that you would want to travel full airline, but it's definitely a bike that you want to take it into an apartment or just basically compress the bike and put it in the back of the trunk. So uh, what I consider this bike is basically is a really, really good value bike, but it gives you the comfort. The other really major thing here is because it's still an end fold bike, so you can fold the bike probably within like less than 30 seconds and be able to fold the bike really, really quickly without taking the wheel set off. So that's it for our video. If you enjoy the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up on the YouTube channel or subscribe our video. And um, we are one of the largest selection folding by here in Calgary or in the Western Canada. We carry the Tarn as well as the Dehan as well as the Monty Blue folding by. So if you have any questions, uh, you can drop us to our store here in Power Motion or you can just send us an email. Alright, that's it. Happy riding.